Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing a skincare favorites video for 2014. I was originally just going to do a current favorite skincare video, but then I thought, you know, why not spice it up and just throw in everything that I love during 2014. So these are some of my all-time favorite products. They are things I cannot live without. I've either repurchased them or will repurchase them in the future. So I highly recommend everything that I'm going to show you. And yeah, I'm really excited because you guys always ask me for skincare videos. And tell me, what do you think of this crazy sweater. Is it absolutely ugly or is it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I can't decide but I've fallen in love with it. It's vintage from the 80s. It has all this beadwork on it and it's just this crazy green color. I found it in the back of my closet, completely forgot that I owned it, so I'm just really excited about that right now. And yeah, I guess I will get started and show you what I've been loving for 2014. <laughs> So the first product that I'm going to show you is by Alafia. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's their extra rich, authentic African black soap. And this is my new favorite soap. I used to use Dr. Bronner's for all my soap needs, but now this one has replaced it. I just love how nourishing and gentle this is on my skin. And I'll just read you a bit about it. It says, Alafia's extra rich, authentic African black soap contains additional fair trade shea butter for a skin cleansing and moisturizing experience that's silky smooth. In West Africa, black soap is known by its Yoruba, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, name, Aussie Dudu. Dudu means the color black, which comes from the extensive cooking of the soap to the point of charcoal. Very cool. Many cultures in West Africa use charcoal to detoxify and purify the skin. No chemical preservatives, color enhancers, or synthetic fragrances are used. And the ingredients are just water, saponified shea butter, and palm kernel oil. So I love the simplicity of the ingredients, and I think it's really cool how they made this. And it's actually a really multi-purpose item because you can wash your hair with it, you can wash your face, your body, you know, all your washing needs are taken care of by the African black soap, but I've used it on my hair before and didn't really care for it. I kind of felt like it left a residue in my hair, but I think it might be better for someone with really coarse hair or someone with a really short haircut. And to wash my face, around 99.9% .9 of the time I use the oil cleansing method, but a few times I've uh, ran out of face cloths, they've all been dirty in the laundry, and I've used this black soap and I really really liked it and yeah I also just use it to wash my body or my hands whatever and I will and I will tell you that this stuff can get kind of messy it's a really dark brown color and it may leave dark brown in your sink or your bathtub but it's soap you guys so you can just wash it away and it literally looks like liquid chocolate or tar but yes I've really been liking it so Alafia extra rich authentic African black soap so next up I have a product which I've absolutely been loving and it's this dew dab by living libations and basically this is just an essential oil blend but it's really good for scars acne scars acne fine lines that sort of stuff and it says here it's a pure essential oil synergy of cape chamomile rose oto cypress frankincense immortal and lavender and those are all some of my favorite essential oils for skincare i already used lavender oil and immortal oil individually so just to have this synergistic blend is really really nice and to use it i just will apply it directly to my skin if i have a blemish or a scar something that i want to heal up or else i will just apply a few drops into my moisturizer or my skin serum and just mix that in there and apply it to my face. It smells absolutely delicious and I have just really been loving it. I think this would be great for everyone whether you're dealing with fine lines, acne, um, or you just want to take care of your skin. And next up I have another one by Living Libations and that is their cell serum. And this is actually my second bottle of this. I love it so so much and I'll just read you the bottle again it says this phytonutrient face food seeps into cells for cellular respiration and rejuvenation powerful antioxidants enhance cellular function 
and it contains organic cumin seed, broccoli seed oil, jojoba oil, MSM, sea buckthorn, frankincense, cinnamon, chamomile, lavender, turmeric, and immortal. So yeah, you can just tell that that has some really, really amazing ingredients. And I apply this as a serum, so underneath my moisturizer. And the first time I applied it, I got kind of freaked out because your face turns really red, or at least mine does, because of the cinnamon oil. So if you have really sensitive skin, maybe do a spot test or something before you go using this. But I kind of like when my skin flushes from it because I feel like it's really working. I don't know. Highly recommend if you have acne prone skin, the MSM is gonna help with scar tissue, the essential oils are gonna help with pigmentation. It's just a really amazing serum. And it is quite pricey like other Living Libations products, but I think it's completely worth it because I actually see genuine results with this and that's what matters to me. So yeah, I love it. And now another one from Living Libations is their Sundew Transdermal Vitamin D Cream. And this is a beautiful, beautiful moisturizer. It's really light but really nourishing to the skin. And it says, let the sun vitamin shine into your skin daily do with organic ingredients of rose water, rose hips, aloe vera, jojoba herbal infusions of horse tail, nettles, marshmallows, sea buckthorn, vitamin D3, rose wax, sandalwood, turmeric, ginger, immortal, frankincense, lavender, rose odo, palmarosa, and thyme. So again, spectacular ingredients. And the reason I got this was to use it in the winter because it is a transdermal vitamin D cream. So you're boosting your vitamin D levels, which is really important throughout the whole entire year, but especially in the winter. I know I'm not laying in the sun in the winter, so yeah, I love this. And then the last Living Libations product I'm gonna show you is their Green Papaya and Lime AHA Mask. And I'm only about a quarter to a halfway done, and I'll read you the bottle. It says fruit derived alpha hydroxy acids, 10% with green papaya and pineapple enzymes, gently exfoliate the skin, encourage moisture, elasticity, and suppleness. And the ingredients are organic rose water, herbal extracts of horsetail, comfrey root, ro red clover, jojoba, HA of lemon, lime, raw sugar cane, papaya, and pineapple enzymes, orange wax, essential oils of lavender, lemon, lime, sage, and rosemary. And what you can do is you can either just apply this to your skin, all you need is one pump, and leave it on for five minutes and then wash it off. Or you can do what I do and just leave it on overnight. And I just tend to like to leave it on overnight. I don't find it irritates my skin or anything. I find it's really gentle. And this is more of an exfoliation on a chemical level rather than a physical level, like if you're doing the oil cleansing method and washing your face with a washcloth. So that is my last Living Libations product. As you can tell, I really love that line. But moving on, I'm going to show you some products from another line, which I really, really love. And that is Gemstone Organics. And I've mentioned their creams or cremes before in another one of my favorites videos, but these are my absolute favorite moisturizers. So I have three of them now. Gotta collect them all, um, Pokemon. Their moisturizers are so nourishing. They contain amazing ingredients and they are infused with gemstone essences. So each one has its own gemstone. And my favorite one is probably this Moonstone one. And of course I have to read the ingredients. So this one has apricot oil, rose water, gemstone essence of Moonstone. Coconut oil, beeswax, kapwaku butter, babasu oil, barrage oil, black seed oil, aloe vera powder, and then essential oils of blue chamomile, helichrysum, ylang ylang, and clary sage. So again, very nourishing ingredients. I highly approve, and it smells amazing. So this one is sort of like my everyday moisturizer, what I use throughout the day. I tend to use the uh, transdermal vitamin D one at night because it's a bit lighter and for me I like to use light moisturizers at night I know some people like to use thicker heavier night creams at night but for me I feel like at night I kind of want my skin to be able to breathe and you know just do its thing so I don't like to slather it with too much moisturizer 
And then the next one I have is their Gold Crumb. And this one has hemp oil, which I love for the skin, rose water, gemstone essence, coconut oil, beeswax, kapalaku butter, babasu oil, barrage oil, black seed oil, aloe vera powder, and then the essential oils of carrot seed and helichrysum. And this one is a bit thicker than the Moonstone one, so I find this one's probably a bit better for winter time. But yeah, I really like that. And then the last one is a new one that I got, and I've only been using it for two days, but I really like it. And it's their Ruby Creme. And this one contains hemp oil, rose water, gemstone essence, shea butter, beeswax, kapuaku butter, babasu oil, barrage oil, black seed oil, aloe vera powder, lemongrass, or essential oils of lemongrass, lavender, neroli, and sandalwood. And this one is definitely the thickest out of all of them. Really good, I think, if you would have chapped skin or, you know, just really dry skin from the winter time. So that one is nice and it smells lovely. So yeah, I would highly, highly recommend these moisturizers. They are probably my absolute favorite moisturizers. And I just want to collect them all. They have a few more that I haven't tried, but I really, really like them. And I love the packaging. They're just so cute. I love it. Now next I have two new hydrosols from Evan Healy because this would not be a Holistic Habit skincare video if I didn't show a hydrosol. So these are two that I recently got. They were sent to me by Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. And this one is Blood Orange and this one is Douglas Fir Hydrosol. This one is the best. So I'll start off with the Blood Orange one. This one is really nice. It's very sweet, very delicate, and it almost smells like you're spraying a creamsicle on your face. So I really, really like this one, but my favorite one is this Douglas Fir one. This literally smells like you're a, spraying a Christmas tree on your face. It's so grounding. I feel like it really connects me with nature, and it's just probably one of the most beautiful hydrosols that I've ever ever used. And this one was actually harvested on the full moon, so that just makes it even more powerful and special to me. So I love this, and I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that this might be limited edition, so I am definitely going to have to go and buy a few more because I do not want to run out of this one. And I'm going to be doing a hydrosol collection video, so I'm going to show you all the many hydrosols that I have and just talk about why hydrosols are good for the skin and, you know, just some of the benefits. So I'm really excited for that video. But yeah, these two new Evan Healy ones are absolutely amazing. And then the last skincare product that I'm going to show you is this Tamanu Nut Oil. And I have loved Tamanu Nut Oil for many, many years. It's a very special oil to me along with some other skincare oils like sea buckthorn, hemp. Actually, that would make a very good video. I think I'm going to do my favorite skincare oil video. So yeah, I've loved it for a long time, but I stopped using it for a while and then I recently just bought a bottle and started using it again. So I will put a little bit of this into my oil cleansing mixture that I wash my face with, which is another video that I really should do, or else I will just use it as a moisturizer for my face and body. It's a very nourishing oil, especially if you have scarred skin. This can actually form new tissue or help to form new tissue. So it's a really amazing oil. Definitely do some research on it if you're interested because it's pretty spectacular. And yeah, I bought mine from mountainroseherbs.com, which kind of sells bulk oils, herbs, teas, a lot of fun stuff. It's a cool website. This is just the pure cold pressed and unrefined oil from certified organic tamanu nuts. And it does smell kind of nutty, but I like the smell. I like it a lot. Mmm, yeah. So yeah. That is the Tamanu oil. So those are some of my favorite skincare products. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe found some stuff that you want to try out. Um, I am definitely going to be doing a lot more skincare videos in 2015. I feel like 2015 is going to be the year of skin for me. I actually originally started Holistic Habits because I wanted it to be all about natural ways to heal your acne because I've done so much research in the past. I struggled with really, really bad acne, cystic acne, just 
all over my face. And this lifestyle, this holistic lifestyle was the thing that made the biggest difference for me. That's why I made Holistic Habits, is I was planning on doing this natural acne blog and vlog. But yeah, when I started it, I just started to do other videos, recipe videos, natural beauty videos, and I haven't done a skincare video, which is really, really bad. So I'm going to be doing a lot more skincare videos this year. I'm really excited about it. I would love to help anybody that's dealing with any sort of skin condition. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And this was my first video for 2015. So yeah, let's make this year the best year ever. I will see you guys later. Bye.